Oh, is that the T cell? Yes. <laughs> so massive. what you see is this gigantic cells that has decided to um, inspect the other cells. And if you have an infection, obviously your surface will manifest that. Mm -hmm. So the T cells will scan and then say, oh, there's something wrong here. Uh, let me get um, better information of what's going on. What is actually happening when somebody receives a massage? There are some nerves in the skin uh, that then connect to glands where the T cells are stored. And so through the stimulation of the skin, you have these glands releasing a lots of lymphocytes in, uh, in the blood. Massage boosts immune cells in HIV patients. But what impact does it have on a healthy immune system? So bring on the massage oils. First, a pre-massage blood test. Then we're off. After an hour of intense rubbing, it's time for another blood test. I feel super relaxed and really quite zen, but let's see what's happened to my immune cells. Fulvio measures how my immune cell numbers have changed after my massage. Can I just say that you've been a super responder because you not only showed the response that we expected, but also we had a very interesting increase in all sorts of other type of immune cells. You could see a general flashing out of immune cells like, yes, there is a party, yes. uh, let's go and party. <laughs> that is really good to hear, I'm really excited. But it's those clever lymphocyte T cells that are the biggest movers. The percentages goes from 18.3 to 23.6. That's great. What is the percentage increase then? It's about 20%. Fantastic. They might not seem very much, but you have to remember, well, as you know, there are millions of them. And so even a, a, an increase of 10% is a great thing. This is great. So basically, I need to be having massages every other day, <laughs> especially in the flu season. <laughs> So next time, when you ask your partner for a foot rub, remember, you're not being self-indulgent, you're simply trying to improve your immune system. <laughs>